Hey everyone, in this video we are going to create this gradient blob text reveal animation in After Effects. Now it's very easy to create and there are so many things that you will learn in this video. So make sure to watch it till the end. So let's get started. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and we will begin by creating a new composition. So let's call this one main. Width and height will be 1920 by 1080, frame rate 30 fps and duration you can pick whatever you want. Just click on OK. Now I'm going to create another composition for our text. Now let's call this one text and rest of the things will remain same. Now inside the text composition, it's completely up to you. You can add a text, you can have a logo, whatever you want. But for this one, I'm going to add a text. So let's select the text tool. Just click and you can type whatever you want. I'm going to type gradient and I'm using this Gotham Ultra italic font, but it's completely up to you. You can use whatever you want. Now let's align it to the center using the align panel. Now, if you're not able to see the align panel, then you can go to windows and from here you can enable it. So we have our text. Now our next step is to add a ball or a blob which will move around the scene. So in order to do that, I'm going to go under the main composition. And for that, I'm going to select the shape tool and I'm going to select the ellipse one. Now just click and hold down the shift key to create a perfect circle, something like this. Now you can play around with its size. You can make it however big you want. But for this one, I think this one is fine. Now let's select the shape and I'm going to just simply place it over here. Now we are going to animate it using the position property and it's completely up to you. You can pick whatever path you want this to follow. But for this example, I want my blob to come from this side from here. And after that, I want it to move something like this to go up and then go over here. And at this point, I want this to reveal my text. So again, it's completely up to you. You can just move it however you want. The basics remain the same. So first I'm going to place it somewhere around here just like this. Now I'm going to select the shape layer. Then you can press P for position. Let's add a keyframe for position. Now I'm going to move to one second mark somewhere around here. And I'm going to move it to its first position, which is somewhere around here, just like this. And after that, I'm going to move it to somewhere around two seconds. And at this point, I want it to go over here. Now you can see that our ball or our blob is moving something like this now it is not moving in smooth curves so in order to make this smooth all you have to do is just simply select the pen tool and after that you can just click on these points you can see that it will create these very nice handles and later on you can just play around with them and you can just create some smooth curves something like this so you can play around with these angles you can just move them however you want let's press v to go to the selection tool and you can just move these points and after that you can just simply press g to get the pen tool something like this then you can click on these points and you can just play around however you want so let's place it somewhere around here just like this and now i can play around with the position of this ball as well something like this now let's move to somewhere around three seconds and after that i want this to go somewhere around here again we are going to use the pen tool something like this to create this very nice arc it's just like this now it's completely up to you. you can play around with their position if you want you can also move the single arc all you have to do is just move your cursor to this single one and you can see that now we can only tweak this one and we can tweak this separately something like this now i'm going to quickly change its curve so i want this to move something like this now this is completely experimental you can just play around however it looks good and after this let's move it to somewhere around four second and i want my blob to move a little bit up something like this now you can play around with these points as well just like this and somewhere around here i'm going to move it to one last time so let's go to five second and i want this to move to this side perfect so let's again select the pen tool and i'm going to quickly make these smooth curves just like these so just play around with these settings and just look what you think looks better for your design. For me, I think this is looking fine. And let's select this point and I'm going to move it over here. Just like this. So here you can see if I play back, you can see that our blob or our ball is following the path and it is moving something like this. So you can see that now we have everything set up, but still it is not looking good because we don't have any kind of easing on our scene 
and you can see that it is following just a plain boring path now in order to fix that what i'm going to do is i'm going to first select all the keyframes then i'm going to just right click and let's click on rover cross time now you can see that it will even out the speed and you can see that it will follow one constant speed just like this so at this point you can select the keyframes you can hold on the alt key and you can move the last keyframe to move this closer because i want this to follow something like this and we can probably hold on the alt key and let's move it somewhere around here so you can play around with the speed of it just like this so before we proceed a lot of you watching right now have not subscribed to my channel and i want you to please do that because i want to hit 100k subscriber this year on my channel so make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon so let's continue now we are going to add more easing to this so in order to do that first i'm going to select this layer then you can right click and let's pre-compose this and let's call this one ball or whatever you want make sure move all attribute is set just click on ok now on this one we are going to add a time remap so let's select this so right click go to time and let's enable time remapping and right away you can see we have these two keyframes so these represent the starting and end point so if i move them closer you can see that it has become way too fast and if i move this further away then this will slow it down so we are going to make use of it and we are going to play around with its speed so first let's go inside this and i'm going to select this one press u so let's move it to the last keyframe somewhere around here let's go back to our main composition and i'm going to add a time remake keyframe over here because we are going to change the value only in this region and we don't need this keyframe so we can probably select this and let's delete this one so let's play around with these so now i'm going to select the keyframes you can press f9 to ease them so let's go to somewhere around here now i'm going to open up the graph editor so in order to do that just click over here so right now we are in the graph editor and there are two graphs in this so one is the speed graph and one is the value graph and we are going to make use of both of these for this example so first let's add a couple of points where we want the speed of this to be different so first we want this to come very fast so i'm going to add a keyframe or a point over here so in order to do that all you have to do is just select the pen tool and just click over here so you can see that it will add a point now let's move a little bit ahead and i want a point over here as well so let's click so after this i want this to be a little bit slow somewhere around here and at this point i want it to go very fast so i'm going to just move it somewhere around here and let's add one more keyframe over here just like this so once you have everything done now let's select everything by simply dragging over here now you can press f9 to ease them now you can see that your graph looks something like this so you will notice that if i play back you can see that our blob moves and it stops at a couple of points you can see that we have these points uh, where the curve touches this line so you can see that it kind of stops and i don't actually want that so we want this to be in a continuous motion so now to do that what i'm going to do is i'm going to select these two keyframe then you can right click go under keyframe velocity and just make sure that this continuous lock is checked just click on ok now you can probably zoom in and you can just simply select both of them and you can move it up just like this now you can play around with the easing and you can just move it however you want and i want this to start a little bit fast so i'm going to just move it just like this something like this and after that i want it to go a little bit slower something like that and at this point i want it to be really fast so i'm going to select this just make sure that this option is checked otherwise it won't pick both the keyframe it will only pick single one let's move it over here now you can play around with these values and i'm going to just make the curve to look something like this so at this point i want this to be very fast and after that it will slow down so i'm going to select these points and let's pick them up as well now let's add a little bit of easing over here something like this and you can play around with its position so if i play back here you can see we have this sort of curve and at last i'm going to pick these points as well and let's move it over here so i want this blob to be very fast in this region so i'm going to just make the curves to come closer something like this so now if i play back here you can see we have this sort of curve and again you can just click and pick the points and you can make them closer to make this even faster let's pick this point and i'm going to move it closer as well and i want this to be really fast 
So now if I play back, here you can see we have created this sort of animation and still you can see that it is not that smooth enough. So for that we can tweak these keyframes further. So first I'm going to add a little bit of more gap between these. So I'm going to just move them further apart, just like this. Now let's play around with a couple of these points. So I think that we have a little bit of stay over here. So we can fix that by simply selecting the keyframes and we can just ease out the curves or we could just move them just like this so you can see that now we have this little bit of continuous motion and let's do the same thing over here as well so i'm going to move this to the up just like this and let's select these keyframes and let's move these a little bit ahead just like this so this is all just tweaking these keyframes these points to find a place that looks good and sometimes you have to play with the distance between these keyframes something like this and let's make this less steep perfect so you can see that we have this smooth motion till over here and after that we have to play around with these keyframes as well So at this point, I want this to be really fast. So I'm going to move these keyframes closer. Something like this. Let's move this over here. So you can see that our blob goes very fast over here. And at last, I want this to slow down a little bit. So let's move it over here. So now you can see we have this sort of curve which looks perfect to me. Now, if you want, you can play around with these curves more and you can get more smoother results. But for this one, I think this is looking fine to me because once we start adding a little bit of trails to this, all this will look very smooth. Let me just quickly tweak this one. So let's have a little bit of curve over here, just like this. So yeah, I think this is fine for me. So once you're done with this, you can probably go out of the graph editor and we are ready to add a little bit of trail to this. So in order to do that, we are going to select this composition and let's go under the effects and I'm going to search for echo. So let's select this effect and let's drag it onto this ball. And right away, you can see we have two balls following each other. Now we can increase the number of copies to something like 90. Now if I play back here you can see we have this trail but it is moving very slow and it is very long so we can fix that by simply decreasing this echo time. So for this one what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this one and I'm going to just change this value to negative 0, 0.00 .00, and I'm going to replace this 33 with 1. Now if I click you can see that all this will shrink down and we have this very nice blob something like that. And you can see that automatically it will have these very nice curves. And at some points you will notice that we have these sharp edges. So for example, somewhere around here. So we can fix that by simply going inside this and you can play around with the curves just like this. So if I go back to the main, now you can see that we have this smooth edge. So let me just quickly play this up and you can see that the blob is moving. Now it will take a little bit of time to render because we have created 90 copies of it. So this is looking perfect to me. Now at the end, I want this to disappear. So in order to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go inside over here and let's select this, press S for scale and let's add a keyframe for scaling. And let's pick a point. So somewhere around here, I want this to start going down. So I'm going to set the scale to zero, something like this. So now if I move it, so you can see that it will start shrinking and it will go back to its zero. Now if I play back here you can see we have this blob and it comes in and you can see that it goes back to zero. Now sometimes you will notice that it won't fade away completely. You can see that we have this small dot. So you can fix that either by simply dragging the endpoint to over here so that it goes away, something like this. So we are pretty much done with this. Now our next step is to add some colors to this. So in order to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this one and we are going to search for gradient ramp. So let's search for gradient ramp and let's select this and let's drag it onto this. So right away you can see we have this black and white color and you can play around with this position and let's move it a little bit closer so that we have much defined gradient. 
just like this. Now we are not going to add any colors to this gradient. Instead, we are going to add a colorama effect. So let's search for colorama and let's drag it over here. And right away, you can see that we are able to see some colors. And now if I play it from starting, you can see that we have changing colors as the blob is moving. We have green, we have blue, we have pink and all sort of colors. Now, if you want to play around with these colors, then you can go under the output cycle. And from here, you can change these colors. But for this one, I am going to stick with these colors. Also, we have a bunch of different presets. So if you want to select them, you can see that it will change the color of your blob. But for this one, let's stick with the colorful one, just like this. So once we're done with this, we can stylize this more. So in order to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of inner glow. So in order to do that, you can select the layer, then right click, go under layer style. And from here, let's select inner glow and let's open up the inner glow properties. And from here, first, I'm going to increase the size. So let's increase this up and you can see that we are able to see some very nice inner glow something like this now you can play around with the noise as well so we have this noise slider so you can just simply add a little bit of noise and let's do this little bit more and now you can see that we are getting some really nice noisy sort of outline which looks good for this sort of blob and you can play around with the size as well now color is completely up to you, you can pick whatever color you want but for this one, I'm going to stick with the color which we have over here. So we are pretty much done with this look. Now let's do the revealing of our text. And in order to do that, let's select the text comp and let's drag it over here. Now I want this to come only after we have the gradient blob reaching at this point. So let's pick a point. So let's move precisely. Let's change this to quarter so that we can view it quickly. So somewhere around here, I want this to be visible. Let's place this below and let's move to the this point. And now I'm going to select the pen tool and we are going to draw a rough mask. So we are going to first quickly draw a mask, something like this. Now I'm going to select this layer, then press M for mask path. Let's add a keyframe because this is going to be our final keyframe. So I'm going to move this ahead. Now in the beginning, I'm going to select these two points so you can hold on shift key and just select these two points and now i'm going to move them closer so that none of the text is visible now you can press the page down key to move one frame ahead and you can use the mask path and you can just reveal the text as you move ahead something like this so just keep on doing this until the full text is revealed something like that so somewhere around here you can see that we have the full reveal and now if I play back here, you can see we have this gradient and we have the text reveal. Now you can add a little bit of feathering by selecting this layer. Then you can press F and let's add a little bit of mask feather just like this. Now we can add a little bit of motion to the text as well. So for this one, I'm going to select P for position. Let's add a keyframe and let's go to the very beginning. And I'm going to move this text layer to somewhere around here. Let's move it to somewhere around here. Now you can select the keyframes, press F9 to ease them. Then go to the graph editor and I'm going to change the graph to look something like this. And we can probably move this little bit closer, something like that. So now if I play back here, you can see we have this very subtle movement in the text as well, which looks good with the blob, just like that. So in this way, you can reveal your text and at last we can add a little bit of glow to this. So in order to do that, we can right click and let's add an adjustment layer. And on top of this, let's apply glow. Let's drag it to this. Now you can play around with the radius. You can increase this and I'm going to lower down the intensity to something like 0.5. Let's change this back to full so that we can see what we are doing. And let's lower this down. Now let's select the glow, press Ctrl D to duplicate this and let's increase the radius a little bit more and let's increase the glow intensity a little bit something like this so now you can see we have this very nice glowing blob and if i play back here you can see we have created this amazing animation and in this way you can create these kind of looks and you can add any logo or text whatever you want so this is how you can create these kind of gradient blobs in after effects and the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you are not, then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on Patreon.
So with that being said, my name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one.